Hello you developers, welcome back to the Doing It Is channel. Today I am going to teach you how to do a global search. I am not sure whether it's called a global search but I will explain what I am going to do. So right now we can search for company name by company email, company address and the created date. But actually most of the time we don't do that. We would want only one search element and we would want to able to type in any of this. For example, if it's company, let's say we have this as a company name. Uh, let's put in a company name, say ABC. We get ABC. So every record that has ABC. But we would be able to, we want to have a search that we can copy this and paste it here or do some address and get the same result but it doesn't happen like that so what i will do is i will create one global search input field which allows you to search all the uh, which allows you to search all the uh, possible columns so to do this we have to let's go into our company's model and change the model search okay so first let's just remove some of this stuff and give one element there so I'm in the index file of companies so let's modify the search and I'm going to remove all of this we don't want all of this and I'm going to put here a property called global search okay next I'm going to the models directory and oh, where is my company search and I'm going to create a public property called global search public global search and I'm going to make it safe global oops global search okay next is we have to edit the <coughs> edit this so since we are not actually searching from a company id or a created date or whatever that is or created date we, are, we just want only the like we are checking on the like so what we have to do is we have to rename this as global search okay so everything will be compared to global search string will be compared to global search so for example the string that we pass when we say when we when we do a search the string gets passed in and it's going to be assigned to global search uh, this type uh, this global search so if first it will do a company which will check the database if the string is similar to a company name if it is not then it's going to go to uh, check the email and then the address and status of course so one more thing uh, we have to just these are and statements that will not work so we have to make this all so all of this has to be all statements uh, all conditions for example it can be uh, if it's not the company name then it has to be the company email it can't be both so the end will not work okay so let's check it out and let's try it out okay so let me search ABC I get ABC and let me search let me see let me search for this uh, do do at oops cancel it I don't want this whatever that do at sdf.com and there you go it searches by the company email and same goes to this as well if I copy and paste this it will return the same result okay that's a simple lesson just to yeah that's a simple lesson uh, something that you would want to implement in a application a search uh, it can be if this is a school management system it can be a student search can be done like this so that uh, we can search the student by the admission number or the name or whatever we need okay 
thanks for watching guys i hope you guys enjoy the lesson and stay tuned for more do subscribe and do share my tutorials have fun guys and take care bye